Okay, first off, I'm doing this video unscripted again, like my last tutorial video, so again, bear with me. Second, you're going to need Photoshop for this video, so if you want me to do a different version of this video where I do it on my phone, then just let me know. And third, make sure to watch this video to the end because you're going to pick up on some really good tips and tricks when, you, when you're using Photoshop to make face textures. Anyway, after you open up Photoshop, you want to open up Defrax face texture template. The reason we need that is just for his guides and... That's really the only reason why you need it for his guys. The reason I want to use his guys is because his face textures end up coming up really, really good. So I thought it would be good if I use his guys for my face texture. I'll leave a I'll leave a link in the description below for to download his face texture template. But anyway, after you guys face texture template and you gotta open up in Photoshop. You want to open up a new document and you want to make sure that is in 2160 by 2160 and the reason why I chose 2160 by 2160 is because 2k uses Canon cameras to scan their wrestlers and NBA players into the game and cannons can capture all the way up to 4k so I thought that's so I thought even though they're going to compress it when you upload this face section into the game just still make it in 4k just for the sake of it okay after you got your 4k document you want to go back to the defrax call template you want to hold control and select guides and one of when the skin tones it doesn't matter because we're going to delete both of them once we get our our face sized up in our document so then press ctrl c for copy go back to your document ctrl v for paste and while you still have selected, press Ctrl T and then basically just size them both up. Okay, you don't need the skin tone layer anymore, so you can delete that. And I'm also going to press Ctrl H just to hide these rulers. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your face. I decided to choose Kevin Hart. And then what I like to do is, I don't know what I was about to do there. I like to size it up by, by the nose. And then I basically just size it up like that. Oops. What the, okay, what's going on here? What is going on? What the heck? Okay, um, I'm gonna try that again. And yeah, make sure you hold Alt so that it's center spread from the middle. And basically just size it up like that. Okay, I think that's good enough. And then after you got your face sized up, then you can delete the guides layer and the next thing that you want to do is create a new layer put it underneath your face and then select your base color i'm going to choose this color right here i recommend choosing your base color from the forehead because that's usually what everybody does so i'm gonna do the same thing then in order for me to fill it on the layer underneath i just held alt and press delete and it just basically filled up the whole layer with that color next thing you want to do is right click on that layer make sure you rasterize it then go to your eraser tool make sure that the hardness is on zero the size doesn't matter and then basically just basically just erase Okay, so basically after you erase the face, you're going to see all of these white spots and we're going to want to get rid of those because those are going to look terrible in game. So to get rid of those, what I usually do is I set my opacity. First of all, I go to the brush tool. Then I set my opacity to 50. Then I will select the color that is near the white spot and I basically just constantly go over it until it's gone. You might need to set the opacity down to 25 instead. Basically just keep going over it until it's blended in. Okay, now as you can see, I have finished getting rid of all the white spots. 
no a cool trick that you can actually do just in case you get into a spot that you don't want to get into you can go over here and set the blend mode to dark and that will basically kind of fix that like as you can see like there's nothing in the eyebrows there's nothing in the eyes nothing down here nothing in the nostrils so basically after you got everything flattened out the next thing that i like to do is make a new layer set to darken and basically let me explain to you what darken does what darken pretty much does is basically the color that you selected when you it will paint whenever you try to paint over something that is darker than that color it won't do anything but if you paint anything that is lighter than that color it will do something now that sounds very counterintuitive but it kind of makes sense after you do it why it's called darken instead of lighten so now what i like to do to flatten out the skin color is i like to select the base skin color that we selected like i said make a new layer set to darken and basically go over yeah basically paint over anything that is super light i'm not gonna do the nose i'm gonna do the nose separately so now that i did that now i'm actually going to change the opacity so that it blends in better so There you go, that's good. Then I'm going to make a new layer, also set it to darken, and then I'm gonna go over the nose this time. There you go, I'm gonna go over the nose this time. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. Then the last thing that I like to do before we start fine tuning it is I like to then set it to light and we're just gonna do the opposite. Instead of, color, instead of coloring over the parts that is lighter than the color that you selected, it's gonna color over the parts that are darker than the color that you selected. So now I'd like to go over outline this. Try not to get the hair or the eyebrows or anything like that. Just kind of be careful okay then after that i like to do the same thing just, just increase the opacity until i get up like get to a part that looks good i think 89 looks good i say 89 69 looks good and yep there we go i might go, i might go back and actually change the opacity on the nose a little bit because it looks kind of fake so maybe change it to 32 there we go okay now what i like to do is i like to select everything Press Control J that will copy everything. And then I like to merge the layers. Then go to other, high pass. I put it at 25. Then I put the opacity at, I mean, I put the blend mode at over, on overlay. Then I go to the opacity set to 25. And basically what that would do is it'll bring out some, some more of the detail in the image. If you want more detail, you can set it up to like 50. I just think 25 is the sweet spot, especially considering that you're, you're really not going to get that much detail anyway when you actually upload it because of the compression. Now, the last thing that I like to do is go to levels, make a levels adjustment layer. And basically, my rule here is that if the midtones, like the midtones on the, on the histogram, is lower than this part right here, the midtone slider, then I don't do anything. But if it's but if it's higher, then I'll basically set it over here and I'll make it darker. I'll basically I'll basically try to center it in this part, but only if it's up here. Then I'll center it and I'll make it lighter so that it doesn't so that's not overexposed in the game. And then if it's and then if the face texture looks a little bit red or desaturated then like for example this skin this one looks red so what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically set the hue over a little bit i think eight is good until it looks brown it's not red and then like i said if it's desaturated then you can mess with this as you can see my face texture is fine so i'm gonna leave it alone and there you go you got you got your own face texture that you can afford in the WWE 2k22